And I'm back after a long, long hiatus uh, from YouTube, no particular reason. Um, however, I have been meaning to get back on here and get to the point where I'm kind of like, oh, what do I say? What do I do? Why have I not been on? Um, no particular reason. Uh, life is very good, very busy. Um, I suppose that's one aspect of things. I can't even remember what I talked about in the last video I did. Um, however, since... Uh, Kind of Christmas and New Year, took a bit of time off training and then since then I have been back. So I thought I'd use this video as just a little update of where I'm currently at and then hopefully I will pull my finger out and in future videos get some content with regards to what I'm doing day to day, training wise, etc, etc. So since uh, since the beginning of the year, um, training has been going really, really well. Um, I have been kind of steadily building uh, my calories, but nothing crazy. And uh, about a month ago, I got my blood work done um, just to check everything was in order. Obviously, I competed in November, so I just wanted to make sure that things were, um, I was fully recovered and I was ready to kind of push on. Um, everything came back as I'd hoped, <clears throat> which was really positive. So about two and a half weeks ago, I kind of started my official off-season push. Um, and that has seen not a huge amount of weight go on so far. Um, I, like I said, I started quite conservative. Um, so in the past uh, kind of two and a half weeks, I started it uh, at 304 pounds. Uh, this morning I was 308 pounds, um, which I'm happy with because I'm not looking for excessive weight gain uh you know when you get past a certain weight uh it starts becoming uncomfortable um and i want to make sure that the, the weight i do put on is as productive and kind of quality as possible um the way training is going i think i am in a good position to say that it is good weight uh, i still feel fairly comfortable with myself um but yeah things are going well there so what have i done to kind of build into this and get to this point. Um, so, like I said, I started the year, calories were probably uh, around about the 4,000 mark on a training day. Uh, and I just kind of steadily built them up, um, more just to kind of satisfy appetite than anything. Uh, and then what, since I started two and a half weeks ago, I would made it a kind of more conscious effort to uh, push things slightly more aggressively. Um, like I said, weight hasn't gone on particularly fast. Um, the first week nothing changed so I put them up straight away and right now I see in my calories at the moment on a training day uh, are just over 5,000 calories <clears throat> and on a non-training day we're about four and a half um, so today's a non-training day um, and uh, it, I have five meals uh, so they're good sized meals on a non-training day um, and yeah <clears throat> all is all is good there my food sources don't change a whole lot through the year uh like the, the kind of basic structure in terms of where my protein content comes from is very similar to during prep um i will do a um kind of full day's worth of eating on here at some point in the near future that is on my to-do list i'll get that done um so i won't kind of go into too much detail but at the moment the food is going in very well um last week to this week i put on two pounds so i see no need to kind of change anything at this point um and i'll just assess um like i said training is going fantastically um so my training at the moment is uh less than i've done in in a long while uh, I'm, I'm normally a five times a week trainer um, however, I did at the beginning of last year do a period of four days a week, um, again, after a show to kind of recover. Uh, so I did a similar thing this year and I've carried it on. I'm still going with four a week. Um, I'm managing to get some really good sessions in and quite frankly, they're battering me to the point that I, I need the, the three days rest each week. Um, and I see that as a huge positive. Um, like every session I go into feeling fresh, feeling ready, feeling motivated. Uh, and at the moment, every session is seeing kind of progress in, in some form, be it kind of a little bit more weight on the bar or um, a few more reps, or even just kind of better control or execution, depending on how good or, or not so good that was the, the week prior. Um, so I'm really, really pleased uh, and motivated by that like you know anyone who trains know that when training is going well life is really really good um so yeah i'm, I'm loving it um my split for those interested um is i do a pull day on monday uh, i do a push day on a tuesday i take wednesday as a rest day and then thursday is my leg day friday is another rest day 
Saturday I do a second push session and then um, Sunday I do uh, as, as a rest day again. <clears throat> now at the moment, two push days because <clears throat> I, um, I want to improve my chest particularly. Uh, that's always been kind of priority for the past few years. It is, it's taking its time, but it's certainly moving in the right direction. Um, and both pull and legs are very um, kind of intense and, and heavy sessions. So with, with push, split, kind of chest, shoulders, um, I'm able to kind of do an, a good amount of kind of volume per muscle part, but it doesn't require quite the same extent as re of recovery as the other two, so I can double up in a week. Um, I'm doing triceps on my push days, and I'm doing biceps on both my pull and my leg day. So that's slightly new for me. Um, again, anyone who's kind of followed me for a period knows that I'm pretty down on my arms. Uh, they are... Um, not not a strong body part and not a part I'm particularly pleased with. Um, not for lack of trying, however, uh, I always think you can try harder and I, I'm certainly doing that just in terms of the, the quality um, of work I'm trying to put in there. So I'm hitting biceps and triceps twice a week. Biceps particularly are not very strong. I'm starting my pull and my leg session with them, which is a little bit, I suppose, different. Um, but I want to bring them up. I want to get the most out of them when I'm mentally fresh, physically fresh. So we'll see. You know, you, you, you've you got to try these things. You know, on paper, the kind of theory that I've got makes sense. It certainly doesn't seem to have any negative impact in terms of the rest of my, my pull session uh, or my leg session, both of which are, are really strong sessions for me. Um, so things are, things are proceeding nicely there um, and I will keep updated as we go. Like I said, this is kind of the first off-season update and I'll make sure I do stay a lot more on it moving forward. Um, next up, I'm still doing my cardio. That was one of my commitments to myself. Uh, I wanted to do at the beginning of the year um, is to continue this all the way through an off-season. I've never done an off-season with cardio. Uh, I've always started with good intentions and I've always fallen by the wayside. Um, I have a bike in my flat next door. Um, so I've been getting up five mornings a week. I do 20 minutes fasted. Uh, I get that out of the way um, and, and then I crack on with my day. Uh, I tend to do that around 6, 6.30 and then I tend to train on training days around about 11.30. Um, then on top of that, um, I'm also doing some ab work. So on two of my three rest days, I do um, about 15, 20 minutes of ab work after my cardio. Um, so I'm really making this off season as productive as possible and trying to tick boxes that I've previously left and not bothered with, you know, not even got close to ticking. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much where I'm at at the moment. Uh, body weight, 300 pounds. I'll throw up a video, uh, oh no, I'll throw up a picture at the end of this video um, of where I'm currently at. Um, a couple of poses from, from some posing I did yesterday. Um, and yeah, I'm happy. I'm always extremely down on myself and kind of, I'm not, I, I don't feel I'm one of these bodybuilders who off seasons particularly well. Uh, you know, you see some guys that just seem to blow up, you know, although they might get a little bit fatter, uh, it seems to go in the right places. Um, but for me, I just kind of feel like it goes kind of around my midsection, my back, and I just, it just makes the rest of me look smaller and more mediocre. Um, Crazy, I know, but you know it's uh, it's uh, it's a funny old sport in in terms of mindset. So, I will um, keep everyone updated. Like I said, my plans um, for videos are to do some food, um, both training and non-training. Training day, I'll do sooner, I think. Um, I do want to get some training content out there. Uh, it's awfully hard. I did kind of try, eh, kind of try, um, to do some on my own. Um, and I will make a point that even if it's, even if you guys think it's a, sh a crap video, I will, um, get some training content up, um, of kind of just so you can see, you know, you, my channel is very basic. It's all self done. It's all self edited. It's all done on my phone. Uh, and for the foreseeable future, it will continue to be that way, but I'll still try and give everyone an insight into what, what's going on there. Um, as for kind of my future plans, um, I've got a couple of, uh, cool things coming up. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, a couple of months, um, which you will find out about in due course. Um, one of them is extremely random, uh, and if it comes through, it'd just be a really pinch me sort of weird, surreal moment. Um, but, you know, I like to say yes to really um, obscure opportunities. So let's see what happens there. 
Um, and then for the rest, it's just off season um, and plowing on. I'm still unsure about my plans for competing this year, um, but I, um, I'm right now focused on just being the best off season bodybuilder I can possibly be. Um, and that will only yield kind of positive results when I start to decide to, to kind of compete or, or make like future plans. But you know, I've never, I've never been one to think too far in advance and um, I'm not going to start now. So that's everything. Business is going really, really well. Uh, very, very busy. Have an amazing um, bunch of clients at the moment who are all working extremely, extremely hard. Um, they keep me motivated. They keep me busy. They keep my days going nicely. Um, and then I've just got all the rest of my shit in order. So happy days. Um, that's it now. So two and a half weeks into my off season, 308 pounds. I will do one of these videos, let's say every couple of weeks or so, um, and I'll try and get content up in the meantime as well. But uh, for those of you who have subscribed and followed this since it started, thank you so much. Uh, I apologize that I haven't been kind of present. Um, as ever, please leave comments below. Um, if you like the video, like it. If you don't, don't. Um, and uh, if there's anything particularly you want to see, then let me know. Like I said, I've got some food, I've got some training, um, and I've got, you know, if, if these weird things that I've got in the pipeline come out, then I will make sure I document them and get them on here. But I will take up no more of anyone's time. Thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a great day.